How did building a state-of-the-art central plant for a rural hospital in the heart of Dixie become a dream for Colquitt County Regional Medical Center? With the facility experiencing increased demand for services, Colquitt Regional Medical Center in Moultrie, Georgia, saw the potential for more efficiently and effectively providing patient and community services by redesigning some of the existing facilities and equipment. The hospital's plan involved building a totally separate structure some 250 feet away from the existing medical center, connected by an underground piping and conduit umbilical. About 10 years ago, we had a vision, and that was to improve our steam power system. Here in the hospital, there's no room for error and the driving force in the steam power system is to know that, the, that we have that continuous power. It's very important because it's directly related to patient care, whether it's on the HVAC side or whether it's visions for the equipment and operation of our systems. The construction would be done in phases. Phase one would be the new plant. In phase two, the existing plant would be demolished in part and renovated after the new plant and systems were online. The boilers that were in there were, were really quite old and uh, they'd been maintained well. The problem was the inherited efficiencies just weren't there, that wasn't built into the technology. When we came in, we were able to size the boilers more accurately to the load that they had and cut their fuel savings by having boilers instead of 60 or 70 percent. We have boilers in there that are approaching 83 to 85 percent efficiency on natural gas. The other thing is the other boilers were running almost continuously in a low fire position because they just didn't have any modulation capability, no turn down. And that's one of the things that almost every hospital has is a high load swing. Hospitals typically have periods of the day where they are generating a lot of hot water, surgery for sterilization, that sort of thing, cooking. And you'll have periods where they run the boilers pretty hard for only two or three hours a day. Well, the old technology is exactly what it is. It served as well for the time but mechanically, it was driven mechanically. Now, we have a DTI controller that basically, uh, they communicate with one another, and we, we do have two 200 horse boilers. If one boiler was to go down or whatever for any issue, we could still maintain the steam power we needed to carry on a, a normal operation. Going from a system that had about a three to one turn down, if that, we were able to go to a system that had a 10 to one turn down ratio. It didn't take long at all to see the, the difference in the uh, gas consumption from the old to the new. It was just night and day difference. The project development and the resulting outcome demonstrate what a dedicated and knowledgeable team and a group of qualified healthcare contractors with a can-do attitude can accomplish. Being a local manufacturer, we're also uh, users of the healthcare system and a lot of our employees obviously use Cockpit Regional Medical Center. We have a lot of folks that work in our factory that are from this community, so it afforded us an opportunity to, to provide equipment for a place to use as a show place. And of course, the hospital selected Hearst Boiler because of the same reasons. They were able to choose the benefits that they wanted at a price that they wanted to buy at, so it worked out well for the hospital and for Hearst Boiler. Would have people that would uh, come from all different parts of the world to see our facility, to see our hometown, to see our operation. The bottom line by changing the methodology and implementing a team approach at Colquitt County Regional Medical Center, the overall design, engineering, and construction costs were reduced by six million dollars. It exceeds a standard that uh, I believe that sets us apart. I like being set apart. <laughs>